Hello, welcome to the channel, my name is Kai, and today we are coming at you with another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to use the Perspective Corner Pin tool, and this is a very useful tool if you want to track in footage or photos or screenshots from your website into screens on your footage. So let's jump into it. So here I am in After Effects, and the first thing I'm going to do is drop in the footage that I want to track. And I've downloaded footage of a person drinking wine while watching their MacBook with a green screen. And I'm going to drop this into the new composition box. And as you can see, they're sipping wine and looking at the screen at the same time. And you have that natural camera movement as well. And that's what we want to track so that the footage sits nicely on the screen and, and looks like it's supposed to be there. Now, what we have downloaded in terms of footage is this footage here of this lady drinking wine. So the irony of someone watching someone drink wine while they drink wine. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna turn the eye on the lady drinking wine off and just keep it on this shot for a moment. And I'm gonna just drag in the shots of the green screen laptop to the point where she picks up the wine, drinks it. And I'm going to close up the composition by dragging in the other end. Also, you can use the short keys N and B on the keyboard to do this. And I'm gonna right click and trim comp to work area, like so. Now I want to track this screen. So make sure that your current time indicator, your blue line is at the beginning of the timeline. And then come over to your tracker and we're going to select track motion right here. So that brings up one tracking point, but actually I want to track all four corners. So I'm going to change the track type to perspective corner pin. And here you can see it then creates four new track points for each corner of my screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drag, just open these up slightly and drag these over to their respective corners. And thankfully After Effects gives me a magnifying glass so I can drop it in those high contrast areas. And I'm gonna do the same for the track point two over here. Just drag it over to the top right corner and zoom in and out again, hang on a sec. Hit H to get your hand tool to move around the screen, V to get back your cursor, and drop these into those high contrast areas. So we should have something that looks like this. We want to actually track forward in time. And because these corners remain relatively constant, there's not too much movement around them, we trust After Effects to do it. So we're gonna hit play on our analyzer. Again, we can analyze forward a frame at a time if we want to, I'm just going to let After Effects do its thing and analyze forward. And we'll just give that a moment for After Effects to do all those tracking points. Fortunately, just to mention this, the wine glass doesn't actually cover any of those points and neither does the actress's right hand. If anything covers these points, it will mess up your track. So remember that when you're shooting your footage or downloading free footage, that you don't want anything actually going over the top of the screen. So if someone is typing furiously and their hand is going over the top of the screen, it will mess up the track or it will mess up whatever you try to add on later. So we've almost come to the end of that track now and boom, After Effects has finished. And for the most part, if we scrub through this, it looks relatively accurate. So what I'm going to do now is just go back to the beginning of the current time indicator and I'm gonna turn on my Pexels footage of the lady drinking the wine. And you won't see it because I'm in the layer window. We need to go back to our composition window to see that. So I've turned it back on. I'll go back to the layer window. I'm gonna click on the green screen MacBook Air footage and I'm gonna go to edit target. And the target I'm going to edit is actually the one which is selected, which is our woman drinking wine footage. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm going to apply it. So back in the composition now, what we've seen is After Effects has superimposed that video of the lady drinking wine. And how crazy is that? She's looking at someone drinking wine while drinking wine herself. Now, this isn't perfect. If you want to go back and tweak it, if we zoom in here, we can see some of the green still. Maybe we want to just pull the corners out slightly before. For the most part on social media or whatever, that is not going to be too bad at all. And this is a great place to mention that if you haven't done so already, go and add yourself to the Kai Creative Facebook and Instagram accounts to stay up to date with all of our creative happenings. 
So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you found today's video useful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that little bell too for notifications. If you want to check out our other After Effects or Premiere Pro or Photoshop tutorials, you can find links to those down in the description and also in the cards above. So all I've got left to say is stay creative, stay safe, imagine, implement and inspire. And I will see you next time on Kai Creative.